Hello everyone, Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elm Creek and welcome to another beautiful day. Well, okay, it might not be quite beautiful on the map here at the moment, but it is kind of sort of raining out here. Um, anyway, since last episode finished up uh, harvesting the canola, I believe it was we were working on here last time. Also finished up uh, slurring up fields 30, 31, and 32. Um, I think we noted this here last episode, although I didn't go look at the field. We only got, I don't know what, maybe like small half the way done with the slurry we had, everyone. But anyway, this episode, we need to feed our animals here because, well, the poor chickens uh, might be kind of sort of out of feed. Whoops, I thought they had enough to uh, last. Uh, I was hoping to get to corn harvest, Evan, so we could start harvesting corn here this episode. But and we might still do that. Yeah, we'll see once here. We just need to get some feed for the chickens. Also, I noticed the cows, they're not out, but they're not going up. So either they're out of something or they're out of mineral feed. I don't know. We got to go check on that. Also, the horses, that one, I noticed we got seven new horses. So, yep, I uh, don't remember if I mentioned this on screen here, not everyone, uh, but I ended up selling seven of the horses we had once they went up to 5,000. That one, I sold five of them. Or, I'm sorry, it's not five, seven of them. Uh, it holds 14, of course, by the way, and I left space for seven more. So, once the uh, reproduction reached the full thingamajigger there, that one, uh, we ended up with seven new horses, which must have just, like, happened. I think, yeah, actually, zero months. So, it must have just happened here. Because those were not their uh, last day in the game. So that's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, I think, yeah, we just need to feed some animals. Everyone. So let's get to it here. Enough of uh, me uh, yammering on. Let's uh, go find the gravity wings. I don't know if we got any wheat or not. If we don't, we'll... Uh... Actually, you know what? Did I... Wheat. Did I have some in storage? Because I put some in storage. Yes, I do. You know, and so instead of buying wheat, I will just grab some from storage. It's about the same price, I think. So... Oats. Let's go ahead and... Actually, how full are the horses here while well, we're here? I want to overfill them. Overfill them. I'm sorry. Uh, ten thousand. That should be fine. Yeah, we'll just dump that in. Really, we got to start. It's a gravity wagon. Oh my goodness! I should not have to start the motor to empty a gravity wagon. For those of you familiar with gravity wagons, it's uh, as the title implies, gravity does the work. Yeah, crank the door open. Lower. Well, maybe lower the chute first, then crank the door open, and all the grain or whatever's in the wagon slides out. Amazing concept. Gravity. No power required. Just, uh, okay, and this has nothing to do with the game, everyone. Just, uh, noting another one of the, I don't know, big difference, but one of the, you know, differences between European farming and American farming. You know, when it comes to European farming, this is a European trailer, right? You know, hydraulics and, I mean, look at all the doohickeys, gizmos, whatchamacallits, and thingamabobs on that. Not to mention, again, the hydraulics. Now, if I can find it here, everyone, this, that, everyone, is an American trailer. No hydraulics. <laughs> it's, it should have lights on it. Um, they don't have the hose or the wires for the height lights ran, but typically no brakes. Um, and that, that might not be so good. Uh, some of the larger ones will have brakes, by the way. And so uh, for those of you wondering, if you get the larger ones, yes, they will come with brakes. But uh, notice, no hydraulics, no nothing. Uh, just, uh, yeah, it's called gravity. Amazing, uh, amazing technology there. Just, just wanted to point out, uh, and I, again, I, mean, I find it fascinating, the uh, differences between European farming and American farming. Uh, equipment, maybe I should say. Go and top that off on the wheat here. Should be enough. And how are the uh, horses looking here? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, throw a hay bale in there. Once this is uh, done filling up anyway. And looks like I should probably move those eggs out of the way before we fast forward another day here as well. Switch that uh, trailer. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, that's unloading. Let's go grab a hay bale. Give that to the horses here a minute. And we might actually be able to get some uh, corn harvesting done here this episode. Uh, again, by the way, I'm planning on this being the last week on this map here. So what do we got? Uh, four more episodes, I think. Did it use it? Yeah, I guess it did. Used up what was in it. Uh, so yeah, four more episodes of it, and then I want to switch maps. I do not have a map picked out yet, so again, if folks want to hit me up some maps here you got suggestions for, let me know. Throw it down in the comments, everyone. Uh, definitely want to have a map picked out here in the next uh, couple of days, so we can uh, switch that. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be enough of Elm Creek here. Again, I mean, we ended up going, I don't know what, wasn't it like a month or so longer than I was planning on this map, everyone? But again, I wanted to try out the factories, and I'm definitely glad I did. Everyone had a lot of fun doing the factory work. Uh, definitely uh, looking forward to maybe doing some more of that on potentially the next map or a future map here. 
maybe not quite to the scale we did it on this map of one you know maybe we'll just like pick one factory and we're gonna do that uh we haven't done anything with like clothing uh what are some of the other factories we haven't done here yet i'd have to go look at one uh, but yeah i know we haven't done clothing actually what we can look at is it that one yes this will tell us so we got bread we got cake we got butter we haven't done cheese oven but we could i mean it's just milk so sort of have sort of haven't we haven't done fabric or clothes uh cereal we're gonna attempt to do that uh we haven't done anything like grape juice or raisins olive oil haven't done those definitely want to get into that we also have not done any furniture or planks want to do that that might be again i mentioned here a while back about doing like a mini logging series that might be a perfect opportunity to get into that everyone I, again just talking like a little mini series not you know maybe you know 10 15 episodes maybe you know two weeks worth of episodes or something like that just play around with some of the logging equipment and have some fun with that right so i might do that here at some point might wait just a little bit until we get some good logging equipment out and uh yeah that sounds like kind of some fun here at some point okay chickens are taken care of right check horses are good that's not horses there's the horses okay horses are good uh straw they're not bad let's just go grab the straw and just we'll have them fully uh topped off here a minute yeah that should be good horses yeah now we're good okay let's run over to the cows see what's up with the cows here mm, that person just standing there by the the pile of honey. Yep, I got a pile of honey over there, and I mean a pile. Hey, cows, how we doing? Enjoying the rain? Great, isn't it? Okay, let's... Oh, mineral feed. We are out of mineral feed. I kind of suspected that was maybe the problem. I didn't think we'd be out of all the other stuff yet. Uh, you'll get them. It's annoying because that is, like, one item you cannot see. Like, if you look at this menu, I have one. Okay, I mean, all you can tell everyone is that the total mixed rations is going down right so uh straw slurry looking pretty good on the slurry by their way also i want apparently yes that was the problem with the slurry uh they are now at 100 percent productivity there uh we're not getting a whole lot of milk this is what was it uh i think this is three months worth of milk there and i mean obviously I mean, they got feed yes it's going down but they're not out uh we need to run to the uh store there and get some mineral feed don't we too bad we can't, like, buy that in bulk some. I actually wonder if there's a way to buy that in bulk. There probably is, maybe. Won't worry about that here this episode. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab the 7R because the 7R is quicker. Just a wee little bit quicker. And I don't remember how much we can hold on this trailer. Whoop. Well, took out our slurry tanker there. We could uh, potentially start uh, working up our two harvested fields, but again, I want to uh, plan on wrapping up here for this series, so I don't think we'll probably ever get around to actually replanting them. We'll see once here, but I doubt it. If we do, let me just kind of a couple of filler episodes there. Uh, again, I'm going to want to get the cereal going here uh, this episode if we can, or uh, for sure by next episode, so we can at least get a little bit of cereal here before we wrap up the series. Also, I'd like to get some more cake and... Was it bread? Uh, mainly cake is, I think, what I'm looking at here at this point. I went, which I forget. I think, I, yeah, I did show that here. Was it an episode or two back, didn't I? Or maybe it was the last episode. Maybe we'll just uh, stop by the bakery on our way here. Just uh, put on brakes. So, yeah, we got a mound of bread and cake here. Speaking of mound of bread and cake, looks like I should probably uh, clean it up here again. I'm just kind of tossing it over here, one. Yeah, just unceremonially. Cake is not accepted there. Mm, oh, that's too bad. I disagree. Looks like it's accepted there to me. Okay. So, yeah, there's the cake, everyone. Strawberry cake. Oh. I'm not sure about that strawberry cake, but I think I mentioned this in an episode or two or a while back, everyone. My mom's got a wicked cake recipe. Uh, strawberry cake recipe. Oh, is that good? Oh, really good, everyone. Definitely not safe to eat too much of that. Got like a strawberry jam in between the layers and. I don't know how many, a ridiculous amount of strawberries in it. You would think it's like, whoa, that'd be just like way too strawberry, but it's actually surprisingly not that strawberry, strawberry, really? Yeah, something like that, right? Okay, mineral, no, that's seeds. Where's the mineral? There's the mineral feed. Oh, this is annoying. I can't buy eight of these. Why can you not buy eight of these? You can buy like eight of everything else, but you cannot buy eight of this one. Why not? 
Hopefully the uh, flashing screen isn't too annoying, everyone. Okay, I have no idea how that many that is. I just bought a metric crap ton. Well, okay, it's not actually that many. Bought as many as I could. That's yeah, your old pallet. I don't know if that's going to be the right one or not. We're going to find out. I think this auto loads it right. Excellent. Yes, it does. Oh, well, I didn't quite auto load that right, did it? Get on there and push that up here a minute. Try that same trick here again. Just push them in nice and tight. I'm guessing these pallets must be just a little bit bigger than what it's uh, figuring. Okay, do the same thing. We'll just push the top row up nice and tight. Go. Beautiful. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll leave that on there like that. Let me throw this last one up here. Actually, no, we might do one just so we don't uh, need any more here anytime soon. Let's go ahead and buy. I think we can get four more on there yet, right? That's what I'm thinking. Get four more of these things here. So that's one, two. Three, and that should be four, right? And it probably will let me auto-load two of them, I'm guessing. And then the other two will just have to manually load. Yep, perfect. We'll just uh, push that one on. Go, and the other two we can just lift up there. Oh, I'm telling you, heavy lift, everyone. Great mod. Great mod. Of course, again, I haven't actually tried, like, uh, the loading physics here as far as, like, the pallet forks and stuff like that go in the game here necessarily a whole lot. So maybe it's better than it has been in previous versions. Yeah, who am I kidding? It's probably not, right, everyone? I don't know. Anyone else out there, like, have you really, like, tried the whole loading pallet forks, uh, picking up bales? Like, is it better in this game? Mm, I don't know. Heavy lift is about the same, though. Heavy lift works great. And, I mean, when it comes to the uh, whole physics thing, I mean, I've ran a uh, forklift in real life. I run a forklift in uh, real life. And physics in this game, oh my. Oh my, oh my. That's maybe one of the reasons that it drives me nuts when I tr attempt to do it in the game. Because I mean, uh, real life, I can, uh, yeah, I can really move some stuff around with a forklift in real life. In the game, oh boy. Not so much, right? Woohoo! Uh, tippy trailer. Tippy trailer. Take it slow. Slow turn. Hey, person. Get out of the path. Coming through. Okay, well, a little too far there. Didn't mean to go quite that far. Not quite. Oh, that is some loud walking there. I think that's what that was anyway. Try to scoot that a little closer there. No idea how much it holds as far as the mineral go here either of one. Actually, what is that sound? Not sure exactly. Maybe that's just something with the bags. I don't know. I thought it was maybe not, sound like something walking in the water there, but nope. 
Hmm. Some sort of sound effect. Not sure, everyone. Not sure. But yeah, again, like I was saying, I, mean, I have no idea how much mineral feed it holds. Uh, I mean, and again, I mean, unless you walk over here, you don't even know that it's out or what it needs as far as that goes. And apparently, mineral feed is needed for the automatic feeder to run, by the way, everyone. I don't know. Yeah, the automatic feeder, I don't think it's running at the moment. Uh, the, is it the top of the hour, I think? I don't know. I don't remember exactly what time it runs again. I've only seen it run once here. And then just automatically feeds the cows. Most of the time, you know, I'm skipping through the time, so I'll just... It just automatically feeds them, right? Doesn't actually have to watch the whole animation part go. Oh, that's right. Eggs. We should get the eggs out of the way here too. a minute. Yeah, we should be good there. Presumably one of those wasn't probably quite full, but oh well. Close enough. Oops, I was on the wrong side of the fence. Come on, eggs. Here we go. Just, uh, you know, tossing the eggs around like nothing wrong. Okay, horses are fed. Chickens are fed. Cows, well, they're not fed yet. We just got to wait for the thingamajigger to do the doohickey-majigger thingamajigger, and uh, we should be good there. Hope you folks followed along on that one. Bread, yeah, we should be pretty good. It's storing a little bit. We just moved it. Canola oil. I might have to move the canola oil. Probably should do that before we uh, sleep. And then sugar. No, we're not doing anything there. Is there one other factory? Oh, wheat. No, canola oil. Oh, chocolate. Uh, there's a little bit of chocolate. I'm not too worried about that, though. We're probably, yeah, we're out of milk, so we're not making any more anyway. Uh, we should probably get some milk hauled down to the dairy. The bakery's actually looking pretty good on milk. Apparently, the, the milk and the eggs, they last quite a while. And so, you know, 6,000 liters of milk goes a long ways. Which, hey, that's good. Okay, let's head down to, what did I say? Was it the, which one was it here again? Yeah, chocolate. Actually, I don't really have to worry about that. Ah, yeah, that's right. It was canola oil. The canola oil here at the oil factory. Probably should move that here a minute. Which, uh, annoyingly enough, everyone, apparently when it comes to the canola oil, it only holds four. You can only put four pallets there before it's full. Wait here a minute. It should pop up some more. There we go. Okay, any more? That might have been it. Yeah, that was probably it. Okay, that's good. So yeah, an annoyingly, uh, everyone, only four pounds. Seems like most of the rest of the ones I've noticed hold like eight or so, which is still not that many, but yeah, at least they hold eight. That one's just a ridiculously small four. Okay, we should be good to fast forward some time, everyone. Um, I think everything else was good. Greenhouses. Oh yeah, they're plenty good. Plenty good. Anything else? I think we're good. Let's sleep. And then hopefully when our corn should be ready to harvest, we'll start harvesting some corn. And then we can get some corn over to the cereal factory. Or maybe next episode, I mean, we can actually have some cereal. I don't know. Can we have the cereal by next episode? We'll see once here. And then we'll have all kinds of stuff to sell too, right? I mean, we got eggs. We got cake. We got bread. We got canola oil. We have... What else do we got? We got chocolate. We don't have a lot of chocolate. We got some chocolate. Just a little bit anyway. Speaking of chocolate, by the way, milk. How are we looking? Uh, 23,000. Yeah, we should get the milk hauled down to the dairy. I think that would be an excellent idea then. I'm going to actually head over to the dairy here right away. Everyone. We're going to get to that truck. Let's hit the refill on that. While that's happening, let's grab the combine because our corn should be ready to harvest, right? Yes, it is. Excellent. Apparently, I never rolled it. Whoops. Massive loss there on that one. 1.2%. That's a joke, by the way, Evan. Yeah, 1.2%. I mean, you uh, missing planting a small corner of the field will probably be more detrimental to your yield than that measly 1.2% you get from rolling will be, so not to worry about that. Okay, where is our row crop header? We got one, right? We got one, don't we? Thought we had one. Where is it? There's our sunflower head. Have we never, like, harvested corn with this? I thought we did. Didn't we harvest corn with this combine? Mm, looking around. Looking around. 
Okay, let's go visit the shop. I haven't seen what's... Do I even have a corn head for this? I thought we did, but maybe I don't. Let's go to the garage here. Corn heads! Yes, we do have one somewhere. Okay, where is it? Uh, I can say... Uh, show on map. Show on map. Okay. Maybe I don't know how to use this feature. Show on map. No, I don't want to sell it. Hmm. Okay, not sure the show on map. Well, actually, you know what? Doesn't it put a... Puts a green thing over it, doesn't it? Okay, let's try that again. Show on map. Ah, there we go. Oh, did our disc, like, push it off? Okay, I see. Yeah, I think I see what happened here, everyone. I'm guessing our wandering disc. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good thing we got the show on map, but I don't know if I would ever found that, to be honest. <laughs> that was that was down in there hidden quite well. Yeah, that old disc, everyone. It's got a bit of a wandering problem there. Uh, something they obviously have not fixed here from Farming Simulator 19. That was always a problem then, too, by the way. I think it was even maybe a problem in 17, if I remember correctly. That, yeah. Something's not quite right with that. I don't know what, but like I said, if I, oh, we need to go the other way. I'm so used to my fields being everything that direction. I actually need to go this way for a change. Maybe we'll just throw a hired worker on this minute. We'll get the milk delivered to the dairy. And then once we got that done, we'll, we'll come back and harvest some uh, corn ourselves here. And of course, the corn we're going to take straight to the cereal factory, which actually is just down this road here. So that'll work out perfect. Not a very big field. And again, I mean, it should be enough to last us a while here. Like I said, plan on switching out maps here at the end of this week. So we just need like a little bit of corn to make a little bit of cereal. We're going to call it good. Okay, there's the truck. I thought I started it. It's not. Oh, come on, truck. You can do it. 77%. Wow, actually, uh, definitely the uh, fullest we've had this year so far. Not too shabby. I will take it, that's for sure. Reminder again, by the way, if you'd like to uh, join us in on the R.D. Allen multiplayer servers, you're welcome to do so. That information, again, down below in the description there. Again, anyone is welcome to join us as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. And two, I want, if you want to catch the multiplayer episodes, make sure you follow myself over on Twitch. Again, R.D. Allen on Twitch. Link is in the uh, description for that. And, uh, yeah, just make sure you're uh, following over there. That way you get notified when I go live. Which, uh, again, at least in the uh, new house, heaven has been a little more random here as of late. But, yeah, just make sure you follow that way you get notified. And, of course, if you'd like to help support the live streams, uh, subscribing over on Twitch, of course, is always very much appreciated as well. Nature. Well, I don't think I've seen that sign before. Probably missed it every time I've come through here, apparently. Blends in quite well, actually. Okay, let's try not to miss the dairy here this time. Uh, we need to pull in... It's between the buildings, right? Every time I've come here so far, I'm going to keep missing the dairy. But hey, we actually didn't go past it here this time. Excellent. Achievement unlocked. Long haul. Huh. Oh, there we go. And again, everyone, speaking of the uh, cereal, uh, for those who are wondering, of course, we are short on the raisins. We also need... What else do we need? Oh, oats. Uh, we need oats here as well. And then the honey. Of course, got plenty of honey. We just need to haul that down there. But again, for the raisins, I'm going to plan on just buying those. We can either use the buy option here, or we can buy pallets. I'm probably just... Yeah, let's use the buy option here. And then oats, we'll just buy some from the uh, store there. Oh, 
Oh, this might not have been a good way to go. Oh, excellent. We can get out here. Perfect. Well, that should keep the uh, dairy factory busy there for a while. Uh, okay, thank you, car, for stopping. Giving me a little room to turn around there. Perfect. I thought for sure he was just going to keep on coming and uh, be parked like right in front of me, and I would be kind of sort of stuck there, if you know what I mean. Let's see what's here, a whopping uh, 49, 50 mile an hour on this truck. Uh, nice to see uh, Giants really hasn't uh, improved the uh, speed of their trucks here at all. Uh, anyone else notice this? Like uh, the trucks from Giants here, their top speed's like 50 mile an hour. 50 mile an hour. Like what kind of slow poke trucks are these, Evan? Uh, not entirely sure why Giants does that. I'm, I'm kind of curious why they have such a slow speed set. Uh, is this game so bad physics-wise that they don't dare set the trucks any faster? Or are they just so not with it that they don't realize they should go faster? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of curious as to their reasoning behind setting the trucks to only 50 mile an hour. Seems like you could at least do 60, maybe 70, right? Or maybe a little more realistic. Set them up to 80 or 90. And again, one thing is for sure, obviously, when it comes to the modded trucks, you can set them higher. A lot of modded trucks, you know, in the usually 100 mile plus per hour range, give or take a little bit there. What's your results in us doing, you know, 100 plus miles an hour down the road, of course. <laughs> speed limit? What is that? Nah, we don't need no speed limit. Okay, over to, let's grab the grain cart. And then we should probably get the truck over here at some point as well. Oh, he's almost got a full grain tank. Well, that did not take long. It's the one thing with corn up, and that actually might be something fun to do in the next map, everyone. Uh, now that we can actually have like an AI worker just do like the circle, we can then like run the grain cart. Add the hired worker on the combine. We run the grain cart, hired worker on the truck, or the uh, trailer. That was kind of fun there the last time I did it, everyone. I, that's something I've always complained about in previous versions of the game, everyone. You got a combine, you got a grain cart, you got a truck. Like, how are am I as one person supposed to run all three of those? That just uh, seems ridiculous and highly inefficient. And as I've noted before, this is a lot of times why I don't use grain carts. While well, this field's are almost already harvested. Okay, then. That was not very much corn, was it? Okay. Maybe I'll just bring the truck over. I mean, that might make more sense, wouldn't it? Uh, no sense unloading into the grain cart, because, uh, yeah. It seems like that was a very good yield, then. Actually, a quick tab over here. I'm kind of curious. What is the percentage on this? 95, oh, no, it's 95%. Okay. So we missed rolling, missed mulching, so it's not that bad. Where's the truck? There it is. I was just in it. Yeah, I thought everyone would at least get, you know, a couple of unloads on that field there, but I guess I uh, slightly underestimated the size of that field, didn't I? Uh, of course, then again, I'm in that size of field. That's uh, uh, that's probably like a size of a good garden here in America. Okay, maybe a little bigger. That might be a bit of a stretch, but. This would be like hobby farmer size field. Here's what this would be, everyone. Oh my goodness, stop truck. I'd rather have it in the front of the hood. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. And it's getting loaded in the back. Maybe I better load it in the front. I'm not sure how the physics in this game works, so. Evenly loading the uh, truck here. That's what we're doing. Yep. Okay, there we go. And uh, speaking of there we go, I think it's time to go. So with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Uh, like I said, when I'm done harvesting this field, everyone, I'm going to take this over to the uh, cereal factory. We'll drop that in there. Uh, off camera, I'll probably also grab some oats 
Uh, we'll bring that over there as well. And what else? Oh, honey. We'll maybe save that for next episode. We'll see once here. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely drop the corn in there, grab some oats, and get ready to make some cereal here next episode. So that'll be the plan. So anyway, with that, uh, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.